Hi everyone, it's your boy Ricky here with Honeybee Stamps and today we're going to be making a card from the latest release. We're going to be using a die set called Paint and Palette, which you see here. And we're also going to be using a stamp set called Crafty. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get this package opened up and we are going to do a bunch of die cutting. I did not put you through the whole process of die cutting because it was a lot of die cutting. We're using various pieces of cardstock here, various, piece, various pieces of uh, scrap pieces of paper. And what we're gonna do is just build up a paint palette along with some tubes of paint to go around with it, um, some paint brushes and all that great stuff. So that's what I'm uh, putting together here. Um, here you'll see that I am starting to put the pieces on for the colors that will go on the palette and also um, colors of the brushes um, and all that great stuff. The tube, the paint tube. And I just used various pieces of uh, like scrap paper that I had that I needed to get rid of. And most of you may notice that a lot of these colors are from previous cards that I made. So we have the palette made up here. I'm gonna go ahead and put some color onto the paint tube here with just one of like a Copic marker, nothing crazy. I decided to go with a blue here, a blue that would be pretty close to what is on the palette. And now that we have that, we are gonna go ahead and start putting all of our little pieces together. I'm gonna glue on the little pieces of paint onto the palette. And then once I get to that, I will paint or put the brushes together and make sure that they're all good and done. And then um, we'll start going ahead and putting the card together. But I believe first we'll be doing a sentiment. Here we go, I'm putting on the glue, or I'm sorry, I'm putting on the paint stripe onto the tube there. And now we're gonna go ahead and do the sentiment here. Um, I went back and forth with different kinds of blue, but I decided to go with Salty Ocean here uh, from Tim Holtz. And I have that placed down onto the actual card base. And as you can see in the top right hand corner, I actually did it in a dark blue and I didn't really like it. So what we're doing now is putting everything together onto the top of the card and so that we can get it completed. I'm just putting some 3M foam tape on the back of everything and I'm popping it up and the sentiment is straight onto the card base. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue here with a honeybee, honeybee glue just so the brush doesn't fall off. And I'll go ahead and put the second brush here as well. And then I'm going to pull out some bling and put some bling up on this card. So you guys, this is the shortest video I think I've ever made for you guys. So you're welcome. Um, thank you so much for watching this video and supporting Honeybee Stamps. We truly do appreciate it. Uh, we have a new release coming out pretty soon. I think you guys are going to be super excited. It's a bunch of fall stuff. Super cute. Um, make sure that you head over to all the social medias and check out Honeybee Stamps. Also, you can find me over on YouTube and Instagram by searching for Brim Merrill Cards. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Here we go. This is the finished card here. It's kind of clean and simple. I like it. And uh, there we go. There's a little still shot there. So you guys have a great week. I'll talk to you later. Bye.